What's up, everybody? Bryce here with GhostPixATS.com. Coming at you uh, Thursday for week five of NFL. I cannot believe it's already week five of the NFL. The first quarter of the season, first four weeks are already over. I um, wanted to hit you guys with a quick recap. Uh, we've won three out of four weeks here with DFS. Uh, I think we've dropped. We've went three and one in our player props. Uh, that's on the two-point conversion. And uh, so really doing some really good things with DFS and the two-point conversion. So if you guys aren't on those packages, uh, you know, I'll post a link below and uh, check them out. It's $9.99 for the player prop, and it's $19.99 for a week worth of DFS, and you guys will not be disappointed with the content that you get. Uh, everything that's included with that, totally worth the $19.99. Uh, Jack and myself, we did a duo last weekend. It ran Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and it included all of my DFS stuff. It included some player props that was uh, on my two-point conversion card, but we threw a few more player props in there for you guys. Uh, it had a teaser in there. It really, it was, it covered all the college football sides and totals. It covered uh, NFL sides and totals, and um, it was a success. We started out slow. Actually, we didn't start out slow. We started out terrible. I mean, it was just about as bad as you could get. We went, a, we pulled an over on Thursday and Friday. Over four, uh, down 16 units was not looking good. Uh, but, you know, ball didn't bounce our way on a couple of those. And uh, some questionable, questionable coaching decisions cost us on two on two of those. Not making any excuses. Uh, a loss is a loss. Uh, we learn from it, move on. And uh, that's that's exactly what we did. We turned it on. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, probably some of the best that you would find out there in the business. We uh, we went 2-1 and one on Saturday plus six units. And on Sunday, we swept the board. Uh, we went, we had, on Saturday, we had, the Texas Tech Oklahoma over 70 uh, should have been a no sweat winner. We actually uh, ended up winning that by the hook because they took the starters out late in the uh, fourth quarter. Plus six units right there. We, we had Houston uh, plus seven and a half for a four unit banger. Easy winner right there. Then we had four units on the Utah State uh, first half game. Utah State really never got it going. Uh, lost, dropped the four units right there. Then on Sunday, we had a 1 p.m. game. We had the Browns plus six and a half against Baltimore Ravens. That was an easy, no sweat winner. Did not have to turn on the TV. Didn't have to check the score. They won that game outright by 15 points, catching six and a half. Where I'm from, that's a 21 plus. That's a 21 point cover right there. Where I'm from. Uh, then in the four o'clock game, we had our game of the week, whatever you want to call it. Our you know seven unit banger, easy, easy winner on the Chicago Bears minus one and a half. Uh, that game ended up ended 16 to six, but it might as well have been 50 to nothing. The Vikings had 95 yards of total offense in the fourth quarter, had only crossed the 50 one time in the fourth quarter, and uh, they ended up losing that game 16-6. Uh, to six. Easy Bears cover right there, one and a half, uh, seven unit, no sweat winner. Uh, we rolled that right into uh, Monday night, where uh, second favorite player of the week, the Pittsburgh Steelers, laying three and a half against the Cincinnati Bengals. Look, I know Bengals had uh, Dalton, and uh, Steelers have Rudolph, and the Steelers really haven't looked good. But the Steelers are not an organization that folds, period. Um, they don't have it in them. Their owner doesn't fold. General manager doesn't fold. Tomlin doesn't fold. Nobody on that team was going to fold. And they, they proved that by going out and trading for Minka Fitzpatrick, a first-round pick next year. If these guys are not folding this year, they're going to go out there and play football with the guys they have. And that's exactly what they did. They laid the absolute wood to the Cincinnati Bengals. I was watching that game with a friend of mine at a, at a local uh, sports bar. We left in the third quarter because that game was over. It was uh, We needed three and a half. They won that game 27 to three. It was never close. Uh, easy six unit winner right there. We did have two units on the over. Uh, lost that. Uh, then we had two units on the James Conner player prop to score. He scored twice. Easy winner right there for a plus six unit night. We finished the card at plus 10 units and a uh, hundred dollar better. You know, finished at plus 740, and that's with a bad, bad start. So a lot of guys seen what we were capable of once we turned it on uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. They asked for the duo package again, so here we are. We're going to offer the duo package again this week. It's uh, 175 for this week. It covers Thursday night football, college and pro, Friday uh, night football, college, Saturday college, Sunday NFL, Monday NFL. It includes any football play that we release, side or total. Uh, we threw in some teasers last week, some player props. We'll be doing it again this week. Um, it'll also include all of my DFS content and uh, my two-point conversion player prop of the week. Uh, all of that will be included for 175 But here's the kicker. It also includes Jack's red alert play Friday night. That's right. Jack has a red alert play Friday night. Uh, you guys are not going to want to miss that. 
He's 3-0 right now in his red alerts for football, looking to go 4-0. The red alert is included in the package for 175. That's a ton of content that you guys are getting for 175. It's uh, essentially five days of football, uh, DFS content, player props, and a red alert for 175. You guys are absolutely crazy if you don't jump on that package. If you guys uh, don't jump on the package, you might as well list uh, money as a known allergy because you guys are allergic to it. Uh, point blank and simple because we crushed it. Once we turned it on last week, we crushed it. We're not going to start slow this week. We're going to make sure of that, and we're going to roll straight on through it. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, just straight rolling with no sweat winners. Can't wait for it. Uh, as always, I will be going live later th later tonight before the Thursday night football game talking about the showdown slate and the main slate or, or the showdown slate for DraftKings and the um, one-game slate is what they call it on FanDuel. We'll be talking about that, captains. I'll be giving you guys my uh, breakdown of the game tonight, how I think it will go. Uh, we've been pretty sm spot on so far with these primetime games. I've been giving you guys a lot of solid content. Uh, you guys get to pick my brain. It's a lot of fun, so if, you, if you're not busy and you see uh, see me go live, hop on over. It's a good time. Uh, tonight, I will be going live from my own page. So make sure if you are interested in, uh, if you're one of the guys that normally follow me live, uh, hop on over to my page. Uh, give, give me a subscribe and click the notification bell. It's uh, Ghost Picks Bryce over on YouTube. Uh, make sure you do that because I don't want you guys, the regulars who hop on, to miss out me going live tonight because we do it every Thursday, every Sunday, and every Monday. Uh, so, like always, uh, hop on over to the package, uh, hop on over to the site, get the package, 175 you guys are not going to regret it. Uh, check me out live later tonight, and as always, good luck, God bless, and grind on.